So YouTube team, keep it clean. Before we get into this video, I got to tell y'all something. Do not let anybody, not one person, don't let anybody steal your joy. Seriously, don't let them do it because they'll try to. They will try to violate. They'll try to do all type of stuff to steal your joy. Don't let them do it. It's not worth it. Don't get them the time of day. Don't get them the energy. Don't let them steal your joy. Don't let them kill your vibe. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Y'all keep it up, man. For real. Anyway. The Ravens, they are no strangers to bringing in guys and signing guys and trying out guys and working out guys this season. And it continued uh, yesterday. It's funny because the other day I saw uh, the Seahawks when they cut um, Cedric Obui. And I saw that he was, was an offensive lineman, but he was also a, a former Bengals first round pick. I was thinking, I was like, man, he Ravens, I know these Ravens going to look at him. I just know it, man, because it reminded me of Andre Smith. And I'm like, they, they love former first-round pick offensive lineman. James Carpenter, I think he was a former first-round pick, too. I was like, oh, Ravens going to be all over that. So what happened? Like, the next day or a couple days after, the Ravens brought in former Seattle Seahawks offensive tackle Cedric Ogbui for a workout. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> And I mean, it's no surprise. We we got um with Patrick McCarry with his uh injury, which is very unfortunate. Um, but I mean that's the whole Ravens team. You know, they all banged up, they all hurt, man. It just and right at this point, no nobody is is fully healthy. No player is fully healthy because you're dealing with aches and pains uh, throughout this long season. But Ravens certainly are no strangers to an unhealthy team. Uh, I think they may have the team. They may have the, the record this year for most players on IR, most significant players out, uh, most impactful players out. It's just been cr crazy, crazy. But Patrick McCarry is the most recent one added to a long list. And, of course, now it is a good thing because Nick Boyle, he got designated to return from IR. Derek Wolf yesterday, he got designated to return from IR. So we're getting some guys back now. So it's not all bad. It's a little bad, but it's not all bad. Just like the Ravens record. It's, the, it's kind of the same thing. To where a lot of people have that recency bias. And, and Ravens recency bias would remind you that they just got whooped on Sunday. But it can make you forget that they just won five games straight prior to that. So keep that in mind. Because I know, again, Bengals beat up on the Ravens. And I know a lot of Ravens fans, they're getting over it now. I know a lot of Ravens fans, they're being petty now today. Like, oh, well... The last five times we played you, we beat you. And that's cool, but hey, let, let them have their shine, man. They got their win, and this this year. Like, I, I was telling somebody the other day, like, we, we can't do that, man. You can't be like, oh, well, we beat you the last five times. No, it's about this year right here and right now. Because, like, we, we always talk about how people move the goalposts with Lamar. Don't, don't be one of the fans that move the goalposts for the Ravens just because they got beat. Just accept it. Accept it. You have the same record as them. Now, the division record a little bit different, and he just whooped you. But you got the same record as you vibing, too. It'll be fine. Anyway, um, offensive line has been an issue. Uh, and I, I would not be surprised if they put Patrick McCarry on injury reserve soon enough. Uh, and then they sign um, Cedric Ogbui. Would not be surprised. Kind of expected. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We just got to wait it out. Now, he wasn't the only person they brought in for a workout. They also brought in long snappers, Bo Brinkley and Rex Sunahara. And that was very interesting because if we remember uh, last year, and I know my guy Biolaws, and he, he likes to point it out, which is a really good point. And because he said, like, like with Nick Moore, we brought in Nick Moore last year, had him on a practice squad, and they, they kept protecting him. And they kept him around on a practice squad. And I'm like, a long snapper? Y'all really keeping a long snapper on a practice squad? I was like, okay. But then they released Morgan Cox and Nick Moore got put on the active roster. And I was like, oh, OK. And then this year they've been doing that a lot with David Sharp. Um, and they just called him up for last week's game. Uh, I'm sure he was like, man, I should have called out for last week's game after seeing that beat down. But anyway, um, they brought in long snappers, Bo Brinkley and Rex uh, Sunahara. Um, so I, I don't know what the status of that is. Uh, I ain't heard about no Nick Moore injuries, anything like that. So, again, something that Eric DeCosta did say that they do. He said they, uh, they bring people in to put people on. 
So they sometimes they bring guys in to just help get their name out there a little bit. So people can be like, oh, okay, oh, he's still playing. All right, oh, oh you know what? Ravens gave him a shot. You know what? Let's give him a shot too. Never know. Because sometimes it's like, it's like when you're in school and there's that girl that she's cute, but nobody really giving her the time of day. She's cute though. She's cool, whatever. But everybody really overlooking her. And it's like, okay, some of the guys might see and be like, oh, she's cute or whatever, but oh, okay, it is what it is. But then one guy, one guy gives her a shot. One guy gives her a shot, gives her an opportunity, and, and she obviously gives him an opportunity as well. And then all these other guys are like, oh, wait, 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 where'd she come from? I ain't never seen her before. We're like, whoa, whoa. You know what? I want to talk to her too. And she's like, nope. Mm-mm. So it's the same way with some of these free agents. When the Ravens bring them in for a workout or these other teams bring them in for a workout, it's, it's almost like not necessarily even supply and demand. It's just about generating buzz, generating interest. That's all it is, man. So with that being said, that, that could be what's going on with these long snappers because Nick Moore is obviously not in danger of losing his job or anything. He's been doing a just fine a job uh, long snapping. And one thing that I know... A lot of us were a little concerned about when uh, when they released Morgan Cox. And he is he still on the Titans? Because I ain't heard nothing about. I mean, you don't hear anything about long snappers, but I'm sure he is. But anyway, when they released Morgan Cox, it was like, man, they breaking up the Wolfpack. They they breaking up Justin Tucker, Sam Cook, and Morgan Cox. They, these boys were the Wolfpack, and these boys they they did such an amazing job at their job. Why would you break that up? He's a long snapper. He's not expensive, but it's 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 obviously still worked itself out. So, you got to do what's best for business, I guess, man. That's why I'm not a GM. Anyway, because, yeah, yeah, if I was a GM, I would be, like, I'd be getting too attached to the players and stuff. I'd be like, man, I, I love you, man. Let, let, me, let me give you a contract. Y'all already know me. If, if I was a GM, I'd say, Lamar, look, man. Look, my boy, I, I mean, <laughs> this is what we going to do. I, let's do this this contract publicly, but I, I got you. I'm a... Uh, I'm, Give me your Venmo or give me your cash app. I got you, man. Or maybe I'll give you some Bitcoin or something like Tom Brady did for that fan with the ball. Boy, $600,000 versus $64,000 in Bitcoin and a $1,000 gift gift card to the Tampa Bay Bucks shop. And what else they gave him? Um, I, oh, a signed helmet. Man, you can keep all that stuff. But get, give me the ball, man. For, man, I, I fell for that guy. I mean, they, it was nice that they compensated him. But to go from $600,000 to that stuff. Mm, it's all good though, man. But anyway, they also brought in uh, punters, uh, Dom Maggio and Brandon Wright. Now, when I saw that name, Brandon Wright, I was like, "Hold up, that name looks so familiar." Isn't he a Raven? Already? But I was thinking Brandon Knight, and y'all know the whole Brandon Knight story. Hey, what's up? I know some people were like, "Oh man, this guy giving me Paul Warlow vibes." Because y'all, if y'all remember, a couple years ago. Y'all remember when, when the Ravens signed the linebacker Paul Warlow? Y'all remember? My boy showed up. He signed that deal. All right, let's go. And then either a day later or two days later at max, he retired. He said, mm, nah, I'm straight. Nope. Mm-mm. I'm not with it. Nope. And we were just like, <laughs> what? Okay. All right. I, I guess that's that. So shout out to Paul <laughs> War low, man. Um, now it's it's just uh, being a football fan is a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun because it is so much fun learning about just the business side of football and just seeing and appreciating the stuff outside of football. Because it's not just the sixty minute games. It's not just that. It's so much that goes into that. It's so much that goes with constructing a team and the, the make the makeups of a team. It's just it's it's a lot. But it's a, it's a very fun process. It's a fun journey. Because, uh, again, when you think about it, we talk about the, the front office stuff a lot more than we even talk about the games. Because the front office stuff goes on Monday through Saturday. And the games, they only happen on Sundays. And, of course, Mondays and Thursdays. Y'all get what I mean, though. But the games happen once a week. That's it. But for those other six days, front office, they wheeling and dealing, they maneuvering, they signing, they trading, they cutting, they waving, they doing all that stuff. So it's, it's fun to just talk about the process, to think about the process. I know in Madden, it's fun to do the process. It, I, I love it, man. So it's, it's a lot of fun. 
Now, uh, with them bringing in punters, Don Maggio and Brandon Wright, um, something to think about would be if they ended up signing a punt. Do they have a punt on the practice squad? No, because Townsend, I think he got signed off the practice squad. Um, but So I don't think they have a punt on the practice squad, but I'm not 100% sure. But that would be something to keep in mind. If they sign a punter to the practice squad and they keep him around, because Sam Cook could be any year now. Now, you know, he ain't got wear and tear like that. Because punters, they ain't out there making hits. They ain't out there getting tackled. They ain't out there getting popped. So they ain't got the win. That's why punters and kickers, that's why they be playing forever. Forever. They can play as long as they want to. And they they, they come out clean. They come out like, hey. So it, some of y'all, hey, if you got your kids in football or whatever, don't be afraid to make them a kicker or a punter. Because you, the team needs that. That's essential. And if they get clutch at it too, ooh, ooh, they could still make some money. And they can have a long career in the NFL. And you ain't got to worry about, ooh, is my baby out there getting hit? Is my baby out there getting popped? You ain't got to worry about that. Because there'll be a kicker or a punter. So, hey, don't sleep on special teams now. Anyway, um, but it would be interesting to see if they keep somebody around. Because Sam Cook, you never know. You never know when it could be his time to call it a wrap. Call it a career. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, and they also... Brought in kicker Matthew McCrane. So, I, <clears throat> that, I don't know why. Maybe, again, maybe just to put his name out there. Maybe, I, if, if he used to kick for um, Stephen Stanford or Michigan, anywhere that Jim Harbaugh was at before, maybe that's because you know them brothers. You know they be putting each other on, man. Because you know John Harbaugh, he's going to look out for little bro, man. He's going to look out for little bro for sure. So, Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. But and I, again, I, I do expect. Uh, I expect again personal expectations. None that I heard or saw anything like that. But I expect Ravens to put Patrick McCarry on IR, and <coughs> excuse me, sign uh, Cedric Ogbui. So that's what I think is gonna go down. So team, keep it clean. I'm gonna go finish waking up. I'm still like I ain't half sleep, but I, I ain't all the way there yet. Uh, but I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And again, like I said, don't let anybody, not one person, don't let nobody steal your joy. Uh, I appreciate all y'all that are listening at work, whether you're a driver, uh, whether you're at a call center, whether you're a nurse, a doctor, you work in, in construction, you're a teacher, whatever you do. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in while you're at work. Thank you for tuning in while you're at school. Thank you for tuning in while you're at home. You may be having your coffee or something. You may be in your bed sleep right now. But I appreciate all y'all for tuning in in so many different ways from so many different places, too. Um, y'all have a good day. Uh, stay up. Be positive, And we out.